Hi, and welcome to Budget Outdoors Review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Eton Scorpion, so stick around for that. Okay, we have the Eton Scorpion here. Nice little item. It has a lot of neat little features in it, and we're going to be going over those. Uh, first off, it uh, has a very nice rugged uh, rubberized feel to it. Great for handling when it might be wet or a little slippery. Also, if you decide to place it up on something, it won't fall off as easy if it's slick. So it, it's real nice. It's got that rubber grip. It's soft but hard and firm enough that it you know, is rugged. Uh, the next thing is that it has this built-in clock right here. It's an LCD, which also becomes backlit whenever you turn on and go on to different modes. Now that backlit does not stay on forever. It just comes on for a few seconds and turns back off. It ha has a three, three bar battery display to it. So every time you crank it or even in sunlight, it's going to show that battery and it even shows at the, as it goes down. It does have a flashlight built in to the front. It is a three... 3 LED. I mean, it does have this nice little easy to use ergonomic button right here. Power on and off. The light is very useful. Charge. I got roughly 12 minutes of light out of the battery for the for the light. But over time, the light the light did go down. But I mean, as you you can crank it as you need to there. Now let's getting onto the crank. It flips out and you can start to crank and charge your battery back up on this item. In regular mode, the crank has a nice little firm feel to it. You get that resistance in that turning in of the crank. When it's in cell phone charge mode, the crank is very free spinning. It's easy to spin. It's You don't have that resistance in there as much as like in the light mode or in just char trying to charge the item back up. It has a pull-out antenna with a swivel. So you're not just stuck to having it out to the side. You can lift it up and position it where you need to be get the best signal for whatever you're trying to listen to at that time. Now it does have three radio modes. It has your AM, your FM, and then your NOAA. I found the NOAA very useful the other night when we had power go out at the house and I use this little item here and Noah let me know of the storm that was coming in. That was really nice about that. But getting on to the radio, the battery life of the radio, on level 10, speaker level 10, which it has the volume controls to go up and down for the volume, and a tune, tuning control for your uh, radio station select. Now, the battery life on a radio I got on level 10 was about a minute and a half. So, if I want to listen to music any further, you have to keep cranking it and get that power built back up. Okay, here we're going to charge up the cell phone. You have to power it on and go through the mode selections until it says sell. Uh, next to each next to the clock, you have a readout of what, it, what mode it's in. Down at the very bottom, it says sell. Now, you have to go and crank to go and power, start powering up the cell phone. The cord I'm using is just my own personal cord uh, to fit into this. The only supplied cord was this one. It did, does not fit my phone. Just have to keep cranking to charge up the phone. It, uh, it's good for emergency situations or when you don't have power on your cell phone or such. Now all around, this is a nice little uh, item. Manufacturers just retail price on this is roughly around sixty dollars. Can find it on eBay, Amazon, uh, and such for a little bit cheaper. But that's about the average running price. Thanks for watching. And remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And remember, let us try before you buy.